English Unlocked. Gerunds and Infinitives Quiz Time. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to another episode of English Unlocked. Today, we'll be tackling a fun and challenging topic. Verbs followed by gerunds or infinitives. We've talked about them in previous videos and now it's time to put that knowledge to the test with a quiz. Let's get started. In this quiz, we'll present you with sentences that have missing words. Your job is to decide whether to fill in the blank with a gerund, verb ing, or an infinitive, to plus verb, form of the given verb. Remember, there's no hurry. Take your time and think about the context, as it's key to choosing the right form. And most importantly, have fun learning. Here are your quiz items. Remember to pause the video after each question to give yourself time to answer. 1. It's essential underscore underscore underscore. Understand the difference between gerunds and infinitives. 2. Do you enjoy underscore 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 learn English? 3. She decided underscore 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 travel around the world. 4. I can't stand underscore 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 wait in long lines. 5. He forgot underscore 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 lock the door when he left. Great job on taking the quiz. Now, let's go over the answers together. 1. It's essential to understand the difference between gerunds and infinitives. Essential is often followed by infinitives. 2. Do you enjoy learning English? Enjoy is generally followed by gerunds. 3. She decided to travel around the world. Decide is followed by an infinitive. 4. I can't stand waiting in long lines. Stand is typically followed by gerunds. 5. He forgot to lock the door when he left. Forget can be followed by both, but in this case, it happened afterwards, so we use infinitive. Thank you for participating in today's quiz on verbs followed by gerunds or infinitives. Great job on making it through. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be discouraged if you didn't get them all correct the first time. Keep practicing and you'll get there. Until next time, keep unlocking your English potential. Happy learning!